Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Teresa's Kitchen. So today, I will be making some homemade double eggs. Oh, I was not supposed to say homemade double eggs. My friend said, please don't call it double eggs. Call it angel eggs. For Lily, I will be calling it angel eggs. Mm -hmm. So I have all the ingredients laid out for you guys to see today. What I have here, my special ingredients, opposed to using mayonnaise. If you like mayonnaise, cool. But if you don't like mayonnaise, I have avocado ranch, which I love. Absolutely delicious. So today I'm gonna to be using like a cup of avocado ranch. Of course, we need the bacon. Yes, I'm gonna be putting some bacon inside of our mixture. So I'm gonna put four slices of bacon. I'm gonna be cooking it on top of the stove. And of course, eggs. I'm gonna put 12 eggs into some cold water. Anytime you're boiling eggs, you always have to start out with cold water, not hot water. And we have our salt, black pepper, paprika to make it look nice and pretty. And if you're like me, I love a little spiciness. So of course I have some cayenne pepper. And for whatever reason, I have been getting into pickles. So of course, I like to put a little kosher dill pickle on top of my double eggs. So, if you don't like, you can always alter your ingredients. Instead of putting in baking, you can leave it plain. You can put in some crunchy, I'm, I'm looking for the name, pickles inside of it. Um, salad cubes, that was the name I was looking for. So meanwhile, Let's get started. I have my frying pan. And of course, before I begin, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands right quick. So hold on. So I'm back. I wash my hands. So now we're gonna get started. I'm gonna be putting four slices of bacon inside of the frying pan. And I have the pan set on medium, so therefore it won't overcook. Make sure you keep an eye on it. It's gonna brown up. So four slices of bacon. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna take my pot, fill it up with cold water. Make sure you cover the eggs in cold water, okay? So here's my pot that I'm gonna use. So as you can see, I have my, my eggs in the pot. All of the eggs are completely covered with cold water. So now I'm also going to place those on top of the stove on a medium heat. Mm -hmm. And of course you can leave it uncovered. So right now we have the bacon that's cooking. And the eggs are going to take at least a good 10 minutes. So I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And you can set the timer on top of the stove. So once the timer goes off, then that means your eggs should be nice and ready, okay? So we'll be back. So when I'm cooking bacon, I normally like to put my bacon in the oven so it can cook evenly inside the oven. But in this case, I just put it on top of the stove. Hopefully it'll get nice and brown, golden brown. And when it's done, let it cool a little bit. Then I'm gonna chop it up and put it inside of our mixture. So again, I have the eggs on. 
might need to turn it up just a little bit more as far as timing because it's going to take time for the, wa the water to basically start to begin to boil. So I may add an additional three minutes to the timing that I told you guys originally, which was 10 minutes. So we will be back. Okay, so now the eggs should be ready to be taken off the stove. They've been boiling for at least 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the eggs. You can see, very, very hot. <laughs> I'm gonna take the eggs and I'm gonna run them in some cold water. Why? Because they're easier to peel when they're in cold water. So now I'm back. <laughs> All I could do is laugh at myself because when I was peeling those eggs, those eggs just weren't having it. So, I say this and say this might be my blooper for today, but it looked like a couple of my eggs went skinny dipping. So this sometimes you'll have this to happen. You won't have the perfect peel. So my question for you is, how do you peel your eggs? Okay, so as you can see, I've, I'm finished getting the egg yolks out of the egg. So I have them all in one bowl. In here, I place the egg whites on the platter. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but here are my egg whites on the platter. Today I'm not doing so good with filming, but hopefully you guys will be able to see it from the angle that I'm trying to get you guys to see. But here they are on a nice platter. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and add the ingredients that I told you I basically had from put aside <laughs> earlier today. So I'm gonna start combining my ingredients. First, I'm gonna put in the avocado ranch mayonnaise. Make sure you get all the mayonnaise out. Next, I'm gonna put in all that yummy bacon that I made earlier. Remember I had basically chopped it all up for it to go inside? Well, that's where it's going. So, being that I'm a person that really don't measure and I do a lot of eyeballing, I'm gonna show you something, just give me a moment. So what I was going to show you is that I was going to take like a dash of salt. Where did I get that from? I just poured just a little bit in my hand, like about this amount. I got that from my father-in-law. He used to be a chef on the Air Force Base for like 30 years. And when I met him over 30 plus years ago, he used to bring me in the kitchen and show me how to make little quick recipes and stuff. And how to do little things and so through the years I kind of like adapted some of his habits and I pretty much eyeball some things but I just think now when I pour in this pepper I would think maybe like a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of black pepper you would need to add and now all you need to do is to begin incorporating all of your ingredients together mix it really well um, and the reason why I said only start out with a half a cup because you do not want soupy, listen to what I'm saying, you do not want soupy double egg mix or slash angel mix to go inside your eggs. So everything has to be done at a certain consistency. So, see, you just keep mixing, mixing everything up until it's nice and smooth. Now, in this mixture, like I said, you don't have to put bacon in it. If you choose to put bacon, you can use turkey bacon or regular bacon like I just used. If you choose not to put any bacon, you can use pickled, um, pickles like I'm using, but the pickles are not going inside. Or you can use the sweet salad cubes where you will have that crunchiness every time you bite into the egg. So. I'll come back after I'm done completely mixing the ingredients together and I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, so make sure you have everything stirred in really nice. 
the egg yolk nicely incorporated so when you basically put it inside of the egg white it won't be uh, so bad and make sure you can taste it make sure it has enough salt enough pepper if you think you might need some more mayonnaise which I completely don't think so I think a half a cup is sufficient enough and basically this is the consistency that you're looking for to put inside of your eggs so let me begin I'm gonna start off by putting at least a half a spoon to begin with inside of the eggs And then I'm gonna go all the way around until I'm done with the eggs. Now I'll stuff the eggs. So remember those pickles that we chopped up earlier today? The kosher pickles. I chopped them up big enough just for a little tiny one to go on each egg. You can put one or two. However many you like to go on your egg would be perfect. And it just brings on that extra crunchiness. Remember, we have bacon inside of it. So it's going to give that robust taste to it. If you want to put more than just one, you can put more than just one. Especially if you're a pickle fan like me. And these are kosher pickles, so they're extra delicious. They have that salty taste that you sometimes miss. So after you place the pickles on top of it, you can get you a little paprika just for color. Go all the way around like this. And then to spice it up, some cayenne pepper. So I'm gonna try one. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. So if you like what you saw today, like and subscribe. And thank you once again for coming to Teresa's Kitchen and enjoy your evening.